what uh dudes skibbity boo it's your boy shawnee b gaming um if you'll just allow me 30 seconds of your time i'm gonna plug the channel real quick i love smite i love sharing my knowledge of smite and i think there's a pretty large learning curve to this game so that's where i come in i'm going to help shorten the learning curve for you so if that sounds interesting Hello. please subscribe to the channel and if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up you're so we had a viewer requested video to play an assassin as support, um, so I tried Help Asia. This used to be done a lot uh, by pros in the season six, but this since they made changes to the dual guy? lane, we haven't seen assassins in dual lane as much as we did in season six. Um, so with Neja, let's just kind of go over her kit. Her one is a ring bounce. Um, so if you hit one target and there's another target available, it's going to bounce between them. Uh, it's very good ability for applying anti-heal. Just a heads up. And it also applies a slow to the enemy gods. Your two is tied to your passive. And as you hit basic attack, so as we hit this camp, our passive is going up. Right now we're at 6, 7, oh, we didn't hit at 7. But your 2, whenever you pop it, if your passive is at 20, you get the max heal. And you get a heal based off of your no that number. So that number can be anywhere from 0 to 20. Then your 3, you shoot, shoot your sash towards an enemy god. Um, and then it stuns them while you travel to them, and then you're right on top of them. And then your ultimate, you launch into the air, and then these three little petals appear. And if you click fire at the correct time, uh, it's guaranteed to do critical damage. And then another thing about Neja that's pretty helpful is she has an attack chain. So her last uh, uh, basic attack in her attack chain will be an AoE attack. So we are working with a Heimdall. So we have pretty good aggression and basically we are looking to dash in, stump in somebody, throw our rings and then kind of in assess the situation. So we did take a little bit of damage there, not too much to worry about. Cleared the minions, we're gonna sash, throw our ring, and then Poi jumped and the ring didn't bounce too much, so we're just gonna kind of back off. For our build, we went Guardian's Blessing, and we're gonna be going into Boots. We don't really get, so right here we gotta pop the shell to save time bell, we stun the Thanatos, we peel back, and that uh, was enough to get Heimdall out. Thanatos was only a level 2, we just hit level 3. Throw the rings, that's gonna hit all 3 minions and then the 2 enemy gods. As you level up the 1, it will bounce an additional time. So early game, whenever you use the one on a minion wave, it's not going to bounce off the minion wave and hit an enemy god. But as you level it up, it will have enough bounces to hit the full minion wave and then an enemy god if they are near the wave. So we're going to pull back, go for a purple because that is up. We might have had the pressure to take their purple. But we just decided to go for ours this game. So as support, we are looking to maybe get an early kill in, early on in the game. Um, and we're trying to make it to where Heimdall can... Let's see if we can get this for you. We're going to dash on him. He jumps out as expected. We're just going to pull back, tag the minion wave. Our job is to get Heimdall to a safe place over there, Hoi So even if that's just a half level, we want to kind of hang around okay. until they get their ultimate and we feel like they are safe and then we want to start making appearances in middle lane and start trying to secure camps with other enemy gods not enemy gods, other allies so right there we get a ring bounce that bounces between the two of them doing a decent more amount of damage now we're gonna look see if they're purples here it's not so we got the timer for that that's too bad. 
just hanging back while Heimdall clears wave. So we have enough money to finish boots. Um, I make the call to go for the harpies that provide vision, but then I see that there's people weak in mid, and I feel like I might tower. be able to do something, so I'm going to go middle lane. I sash onto Thanatos, going him to pop my two and do a little bit of trades with him. Your two also provides you critical chance, or a chance to provide critical hits. We just got our ultimate, and if you are new to Nija, um, he is best able to use his ultimate whenever he uses his three and then ult somebody, so just like that. I believe Athena got off. Yep, so I got to dip out. I have a lot of health, but I don't have any mana. I have enough for one ability. Gonna pop the shell just to save a little bit of my health. Set is nearby. We're going to use our three. We're out of mana. There's not much we can do. Hoity ult, and that's gonna kill the set. Agni made a rotation as well. So that set helped us get out. But the whole team, enemy team, collapsed on him, and then Heimdall just runs back in there for some reason. So as support, I'm gonna try to get him out. I throw my one, which applies a slow to the enemy gods. Hopefully that is enough. It looks like we're gonna get out. So they might have killed him if we didn't go back and throw our one. We're gonna hit purple just to secure some XP and gold before we back. So we actually okay. have enough money for Gladiator Shield. Gladiator Shield is going to allow us to sustain. It's going to give us physical protections, a little bit of cooldown, and it's also going to heal us back when we land an ability. Um, this is going to allow us to stay in lane a lot longer. We're going to be able to look and appear weak, and then maybe get them to overcommit, land some abilities, learn, uh, regen some health, pop the two to also regen some health. So right now by buying gladiator shields, we're trying to bait them into engaging with Nasia. Typically I would be going Gauntlet of Thebes for this item. But I just feel like gladiator shield is going to allow us to survive a little bit longer. So we have the Agni, we miss our three, that's a little unfortunate. And then we're able to just collapse on him to secure the kill. We are going uh, Heimdall had purple, so I go back to pick up the red. We're going to see if we can collapse onto this Hoi. Thanks. He jumps right as we try to land our three, but we ult him. So that is an instance of being able to use your ult without hitting your three, but then I missed the one. And Heimdall backed up in lane, so I'm actually in a little bit of trouble. I'm gonna pop my two, dash in, land, get that gladiator shield proc, pop my shell. Heimdall is able to push in and push him off of me. So we're gonna go ahead and back, because we have no way of regaining all that health. We get the tier 2 boots, and now we're going to make an appearance in this left jungle. It looks like they are kind of over committing, so we're going to see if we can come in and do anything, but our ultimate is down. So, as Nasia, late game, we are really just setting up kills with our ult. We're going to want to be trying to ult in this game's instance, Agni, um, Thanatos, or Hoi Yi. Preferably Agni or Hoi Yi. Thanatos will probably fall off a little bit late game. We want to keep Agni and Lee as low level as possible. Take a little too much damage there, and I heard the Agni uh, ultimate animation start, so I tried to turn around and sash. If you can time the sash, you can get out of damage because you will be traveling in the air. So we get the Traveler's Boots for the MP5, and just to kind of move around a little bit faster. 
we don't necessarily need to worry about our power right now. We're more set up for the enemy team and kind of like baiting them in. Nike seems like she needs a little bit of help and that chalk might be over aggressed, but she backs, so I just leave that lane alone. Command my three, pop my twos, possibly get a crit on my basic. And then I make the mistake of ulting without having my three. And I miss it, so that is just a miss ult. Thonatos is able to get Persephone. Now we're going to make our way to red buff, secure this, because our jungler is going into the left side. We're going to clear red, maybe purple, and then head over to right lane. So Heimdall and Hoi are both level 9, Agni is a level 7, while Persephone is a level 9, so in mid lane we do have the advantage. So that means we might want to apply more pressure into the dual lane and try to get uh, Heimdall farther ahead than Hoi Yi. He did hit level 10 before Hoi Yi. So we saw the Athena. We're just going to kind of dance with her. Nobody's going to be able to kill anyone here. Um, the Thonatos does show up, so we're going to back up a little bit. They were able to secure the Oracles. We're going to make a rotation towards Heimdall. He yeets somebody out into space. And we're gonna three on. Heimdall backed up. Set is here, Set's able to secure the kill. Now we're going to try to dance with this Athena. We lay in the Sash, which sets up Set for a little bit of damage. Able to do a ring toss off of her and that Harpy. And then I miss my ultimate, which is unfortunate. But we are able to secure the kill. So right here, we're going for Gold Fury. And I am not itemized to really tank anything from the Gold Fury right now. So I actually get melted while trying to stay here. I see the Thonato's execution symbol show up, so I back off. But I'd already lost too much health. So that was just a misplay. I haven't played an assassin support in a while. So I definitely misjudged the amount of damage I was going to take from Gold Fury. Usually you can take a Gold Fury with three people. What are you even doing? Level 12 into the game. I just wasn't tanky enough to hold it down for the team. So I noticed that and then I think I'm going into Hide of the Urchin. And this is going to give me a lot of health and a lot of protections. You could also flex into um, Spirit Robe. Or... What, oh my goodness, how am I drawing a blank on this? Spirit Robe or Mantle of Discord. Hoi Yi is really far pushed up on the right side, left lane, Chalk is about to back, we're able to do a little bit of pressure here. We walk into his ult, which is unfortunate. Going to sash him, that's his beads. He teleports through, so we're just going to see if we can't secure his blue. And for some reason, we took the long way around. A lot of pressure in right lane right now. Chalk secures the blue. That's super unfortunate. Gonna make my way mid, so I'm kind of acting like a second jungler. In a sense, at this point in the game. Why am I so good at the game? You're done now. The ult. Agni. Do a little bit of setup. Persephone does a ton of damage, and then he dashes backwards, my minions are able to get him. We're going to see if we can get this Athena to come off of our set. She is really far committed, Persephone's coming as well. 
But between the three of us, we should have the damage to kill her. I miss my sash. Team's able to get her. Gonna clean up this back harpy. Gonna see if we can do anything to this Hoi Yi. Ultimate is ready. Hundal has a one level lead on him. Miss time R3. So if we would have hit R3 there, he would have jumped right after, but if it was on a god who couldn't jump, we could really be setting up Heimdall for some kills. Good to so that's see why Neja is viable as a support. Her 3 and ultimate are great setup tools for follow-up damage. To see you. you just gotta hope that you get laned with somebody who can see that and do the follow-up damage. Gotcha, sash on, throw the rings, that's his beast. Another thing is everyone thinks you're going to ult them whenever you land your three. So you get a lot of people to waste their beads. Ultimate is ready. Retreat! Ultimate is ready. And I'll send them in the space. Enough to kill them, so we're gonna make a rotation mid. Looks like there's a team fight going on. And then that goes heavily in our favor. They are getting bamboo. We're gonna clean up this chalk, and I think they surrender soon after. Alright, well, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. Um, I'm gonna be posting another assassin support video pretty soon. Um, and I'm also going to be posting a how to play Discordia in Joust. Thank you for stopping by. Have a good day. Bye bye.